Hi, I'm Maren Galligan, and I'm the founder and designer behind A Memoir Jewelry. Welcome to our FAQ videos. So one of the things that we offer at Amenmore Jewelry are lab-grown stones, specifically sapphires and diamonds. So what is a lab-grown stone? Well, a lab-grown stone is basically the same thing as a natural stone. It's just that the origin is different. So a lab-grown diamond is created in a lab and a natural diamond is created underground by nature. Um, but your end product is the same thing. It's a diamond, it's physically the same thing. Um, it's just that the origin is going to be different for the two. So some people confuse lab-grown stones with um, a simulant, like a diamond simulant. And a diamond simulant is something like a cubic zirconia that is made to look like a diamond, but it's not quite a diamond. But a lab-grown diamond is a diamond. So why would you get a lab-grown diamond over a natural diamond? A couple reasons. One, the price is going to be a lot less, so you can get a better quality or higher diamond for your budget, or you can get a diamond on your budget where you might not have been able to get a diamond otherwise. And the other thing is that the environmental and social impact is a lot less with a lab-grown stone. So if you're really looking for a conflict-free stone, then a lab-grown stone is going to be your best choice. So what about a lab-grown sapphire versus a natural sapphire? All of our sapphires that we work with are mine and market traced um, fair trade. So that means that the companies that we work with work with just a few mines and they've gone to those mines and checked them out and made sure that they hold up to their standards. Um, and that the employees are getting paid a fair wage and that the environmental conditions are good and that the mining is using a lower impact. Um, but that said, a mine stone is going to have a higher impact than a lab grown stone. The mine sapphires that we work with typically are Australian or Montana, but we also work with some Malawi and other sapphires. Natural sapphires are going to have a lot more um, subtlety in color and variation, and sometimes you'll have sort of a modulated color where they're like maybe it's a green stone, but there's little bits of yellow in it in some areas that are a little bit more green. Um, so there's a little bit more depth to them um, and different colors that you'll see inside the one stone. Lab grown stones are going to have a lot more vibrant stone, and the clarity is going to be very clear. There's you're not really going to have inclusions in the lab grown stones. Um, and you can get those in a lot more sizes and cuts, so they're more readily available in all the different sizes and cuts that we work with. Um, but you, because they're more vibrant and there's no inclusions, you don't get that sort of um, uniqueness that you get with the mine sapphires or the natural sapphires. Um, so, but for the price, you wouldn't be able to get a natural sapphire that has that clarity rating as the or color that a lab grown sapphire has. So if you're looking for something that's really vibrant and really clear, eye clean, no inclusions, the lab grown is going to be really great for that. If you're looking for more subtlety in color or you're looking, um, you want the inclusions, you like the look of a natural stone, then those natural sapphires are going to be the way to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. For more answers, check out our other videos or our FAQ page on our website. The link is below.